What about snow and winter? Does it stay warm enough? That and other questions we're answering in this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and this is episode two of the Greenhouse series. I wanted to start this video off with answering some questions which I've gotten on YouTube. Great questions, so thank you guys so much. A lot of them were about the cold, the temperature here and how we expect to keep this warm. And we actually don't expect to keep it warm. It was minus three Celsius outside last night and minus half a degree in here. So it naturally stays a little bit warmer, but doesn't necessarily stay above freezing. And we're still researching on what we're gonna do about that, whether we're gonna make a little fireplace in here or another way of heating the place or maybe insulating it a little bit better. We're still working on that. Hopefully you'll see that in a future episode. The first thing that we had to fix, however, was that floating frame. The whole patio basically needed to be redone. So we are fixing the support for the front side. My boyfriend has already put in this thing under here. This is still open. That part is now closed and we're working on the center part. But these huge tiles probably have to go because they are overlapping this one as well which is a little bit annoying because look how big that tile is it's gonna be heavy to lift even with two people but we managed to get all of them out and to the side so we could first fix the bottom middle part because of course we need those doors to be really stable and that bottom part to be supported so we're putting the long bits underneath here first Measuring the last bit to go in the little hole over there. And then it's closed. It'll get nice and warm. And the sun is shining. Another question was about how this is set up because people don't seem to understand where is our house, where are our neighbor's houses and all of that. So basically our house is on the opposite side of the garden, which you can see here, we are in a Rijtjes house in a row of houses, of three houses. We have one neighbor on our right and one neighbor on our left. And the neighbor on our left, as we look at it from the garden, has this extension of his house, which is basically our side wall of the garden. So his house is a little bit bigger. And then this back wall is actually his, it's called a summer house, which is where people, it's like a vacation home basically that they can rent out. A lot of people here on the beach have that to make up for their high rent or high um, mortgage. On the right side, our neighbor doesn't have an extension, but he does have a lot of sheds. He's got several parts of a shed, and that is the other side of the greenhouse, plus our own shed, which is very small, but it's kind of practical because it's a walkthrough and you get to a little alley, basically. So we have a back entrance into our house, and it is big enough to house all of our surfboards and our bikes and my boyfriend's tools and my gardening stuff as well. So we're very happy to have this little shed. And then this back wall on this side, behind there, there are garage boxes. This is the back of our gardens touching each other. They built this wall so that it's not their wall that is the back of our garden, I think. So the windows that you see actually don't lead anywhere. They don't get any light in. They're just there for, I guess, decoration. I think they're very ugly, but we can't really take them out and fix it. So we're just gonna leave them. Let me explain the location setup for you. We like this greenhouse here because the south is actually that way. So our garden is actually facing north, but because it's quite long, it's about 16 meters in length. That means that the back of the garden is kind of facing south. That's why we thought this was the perfect spot for a greenhouse. We have since heard that it can get really, really hot in summer. So we're gonna maybe get some curtains here to protect it. Let's go back to the building process. Always protect your face and your ears and your eyes and everything. That part fitted perfectly. So yay, the front is closed. Now moving on to the patio part oh. in the front of it. Bye, Mom. That first 
two have already been fixed as you can see and they fit really really nicely i forgot to film it sorry it's looking really nice measuring is my skill yes measuring is my skill but my boyfriend is the one who uh, saws everything off perfectly and slams it in as you can see here it still takes a lot of slamming and patience to get the tiles to line up properly and have a nice layer <laughs> Mickey noises I don't know if you could hear those but he is agreeing boyfriend got very very dusty in the process <laughs> of the sawing <laughs> That was the front patio done. And then we moved to the inside where we had to layer everything properly first. And then it was finally time to put those big tiles in. This one we actually had to redo, I think about five times because it had some funky angles in there, which was very annoying. But luckily it was one of the hardest ones and afterwards it went a little bit easier. I love seeing this back when it's sped up because it makes it look so much easier <laughs> and so much less work. So yay. Check it out. So far, so good. Time for a bit more measuring my mad skill. <laughs> I thought I'd show you a bit of that as well. And then putting in this whole left side, making sure the ground was level and that all the tiles fit. It did take really long, so it was almost dark here as we finished. But here is my boyfriend putting in the last tiny little tile. Another question was about our climate. We are in a moderate, maritime climate which means that we have mild winters and mild summers and it can rain very unexpectedly we don't have a dry season or a wet season we just get rain whenever we get it we do live very close to the ocean about 200 meters away from actually i should say the sea it's not an ocean and that means that it is a little bit milder here so it doesn't get as cold it doesn't get as warm and we get less rain, but we do get a little bit more storms and wind and rain in fall, especially. I hope that clears things up a little bit. So we do get some frost in winter and we do get some snow, but not a lot. Funny story. I'll get back to this later in the video. Then it was time to start painting this back wall. I will explain a little bit more about this later, but here's some nice music to enjoy this time lapse. painting the wall behind me but it is really hard work my arms are super sore now and I've only done about like one third of the wall so I have some more to go but I'm super excited because ooh, my nose is very cold normally my boyfriend is the one who surprise paints things in the house or like updates something and this time it is my turn to surprise him so he's out helping his sister move house and I'm here surprise painting the greenhouse. So I hope he really likes it and I hope he's surprised. I also cleaned the whole house first <laughs> inside, which was his request for today. So I'm a bit of a slob and he's the tidy one. So that's why I cleaned the whole house. I'm painting this, my arms are dying, so I'm taking a little break, <laughs> but let's get back to it. see it got really dark at the end there but it is done my boyfriend came home at the perfect time I surprised him <laughs> just as I was finishing the last corner and we're gonna inspect how it looks right now I don't know if you can see but it, it is not white it's a little bit grayish blue same as on that wall and it immediately looks a lot lighter and brighter hopefully the plants are gonna look amazing in front of it just like those do over there what do you think? Is it good enough? Thumbs up. It's really cold right now. What is the temperature? Seven degrees. Seven degrees? Oh, this one says seven. But yay! Another question was about the drainage and they actually provide full drainage for this greenhouse. So all the 
edges around the top that look like the, the metal beams are actually also drainage places. So water will drip in there and then it will drip to the front. And on this side over here on the left, we have a um, rain pipe. Does that make sense? Which brings the water all the way down to ground level in our garden. So we didn't have to really think about that. The last step of this patio business is this little corner, which I kind of wanted to skip, but my boyfriend is very organized and is ready to do the last part. It's going to be noisy and dusty once again. Let's go. We have a little jungle cat, <laughs> very interested in what we're doing. And there we go. It's finished. This is one of the most fun things of putting tiles down. You get to throw the sand, the really, really nice white sand in between the holes. <laughs> I used to do this as a kid with ant holes in between the tiles on the sidewalk. Anybody else? It's very mindful. Another question was how we have a green lawn and growing palm trees in our garden. <laughs> in January and that is actually my boyfriend's skill show your face we are in the hot tub <laughs> this is not my boyfriend this is my rubber ducky boyfriend he decided we wanted a lawn and even though we are very very close to the sea which means it's very salty here and um, often <laughs> he loves distracting me but uh, he decided he wanted to get a lawn so he was putting a lot of effort into it and so far it's worked really well. It survived one winter and one summer. So we're hoping that it will survive another winter, even though we had a lot of builders walking on the grass this winter when it was really wet and cold. And the palm trees are actually Tragicarpus fortunae. I don't know how to pronounce that the English way, but they are cool hardy or frost hardy. They should be able to go up to, or I should say down to minus 17 i think it was so it <laughs> currently is minus three or something outside here's the ducky again <laughs> always loving to hang out so yeah that's why most of the palm trees are still alive and some of them are actually not supposed to be winter or frost hardy but because we've had quite mild winters lately they are still doing okay for example the dickinsonia antarctica the tree fern is still doing great but it might not be happy when it gets a little bit colder. So that's it about the grass and the palm trees from the hot tub. Oh, and this white stuff on my head is actually suntan lotion because I don't want to ruin my scar. It looks a little bit funky. Someone said, what happens if there's a lot of snow? <laughs> we generally don't get a lot of snow, but we did have a little bit of snow and it will just melt down through the drainage and get into the garden. So that's organized very well. Oh yeah, and part of that question was, won't it break the glass if you can't scrape it off? But I've never had snow here more than two days in my experience. I'm 36 now, so it just generally doesn't stay. It's not cold enough to have snow staying, as well as we're close to the beach, so we don't get that much snow anyway. One week later. First ever snow on the greenhouse. Let's check out how it's doing. We actually had a lot of snow. If you wanna, ah, it's snowing on my head now. Uh, the garden. I don't think we've ever had this much snow since uh, like 10 years. So that is very cool. Oh, it's pretty windy and the snow is coming off the roof and on my head. <laughs> That still works at least. Wow, pretty dark, but also looking good. So many lovely comments saying that you enjoyed the video and that you're excited for part two and that you love the setup. So thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. And we totally agree with you that it's 
awesome and amazing and we're so happy that we made this investment it was a big investment to do it this way this professional way but we're looking at it like it will be part of my business because i will be filming all my youtube videos here and it is what my boyfriend really wanted basically another living room but outside now apart from these plants that are already in here we're not going to move plants in yet because it is still really really cold and i don't want to shock any of them so we're going to wait with that a little bit but we are going to make it more like a living room rather than just a garden This is a second-hand sofa we bought from a friend with stains and stuff. And this is gonna be our chill spot now. Go on, show them. <laughs> Looking at the stars, this might be our sleeping place for the summer as well. news even though there's a actual snowstorm outside right now poor bamboo in the greenhouse it is two degrees so that's really really good outside it's about minus three right now and that's it for this part of the greenhouse vlogs i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like what we've done so far i know it doesn't involve a lot of plants just yet but it will trust me <laughs> We're just doing a little bit of research on how cold it does get at night here. And we want to wait with putting new plants in until we know how cold it does get. So we can make sure that the plants will survive as well as surviving the heat for summer. So that's going to be interesting. I have to get into succulents more. If you have advice for me, definitely let me know in the comments because I know nothing about those. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you want a little bit more, consider joining my Patreon page or my YouTube membership. Both are linked below as well. Thanks again to Baptiste Robicasse for working with us. And of course, a big thank you to my YouTube members and my patrons. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Thanks so much, guys. And we will see you in the next video. Bye! And if you're thinking you sound a little bit sleepy, that is because I literally just woke up. My boyfriend was like, are you up? I was like, no, let's, let's sleep a little bit longer. And then he said, go check if there's snow. And it was like, <laughs> that is basically the best way to get me to get up. <laughs> if the world is so white and quiet, it looks super magical to me. And I absolutely love the snow. I actually moved to Austria for a few winters to be closer to the snow and to snowboard and to just be in that white magical world. So. Mm -hmm.